what you want cause a pirate is free You are a pirate You're a Good day, it's DJ here, and welcome back to, uh, I believe this is episode 14, I think, of the Back to the Future gameplay, so let's just jump into it. I might be wrong with that one, but I'm pretty sure it's 14. Alright, so, uh, no, episode 4, there we go. where we left off we're just about to break up Edna and Emmett uh, but the older version of Doc isn't happy about that he's been talking to Edna and even though she turned into a completely evil psychotic bitch uh, he still wants to stay with her when I said he was pussy whipped I, I didn't realize just how pussy whipped until now so, uh, anyway, young Emmett is here now, he doesn't have the shower, so I think now is the best time to use the motor oil on him, I think. Hey Emmett, what's keeping you? Oh, hello Sonny. I guess I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? No telling how Edna's gonna react. You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Wait, it still worked? Uh, step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the I heaven. thought it wasn't meant to work. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just got to ask Wait, you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply got to get it off my chest. Oh. Uh -oh. She ripped his tie? My oh. grandfather's suit! Jesus. My formula! Oh. Oh, look! Turn your head! I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lathrop Brown! Huh? Trixie Trotter! How do you know this woman? I don't. I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on. Deny to the world that you know me. Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What is going on here? You rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart. Well, you can take back your furs. And take back this gaudy diamond, Ouch. too! I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. Well, Edna, I... Don't Edna me. Apparently, you are not the man I took you for. But I am, see? The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Let me see that card. Here we go. The plan is coming to fruition. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. What? Get out of my sight! I never want to see oh. you again! That was... Rough, Emmett. Plan I'm sorry executed you had to go through perfectly. it, but things are gonna be okay. You and me can... Oh Emmett? shit. Oh shit. He that gonna go kill great, himself. Huh? Yeah. Maybe too great. Ugh. I was hoping it wouldn't, Emmett. uh... Wouldn't cause him to go all suicidal. There's the truck. He's at the courthouse. All right. Emmett, go away. Come on. Where are you? I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected, but everything's gonna turn out okay. See, I, I know how this story turns out, and oh, he's on the roof. He's gonna fucking the jump. Story is over. <gasps> Okay, Emmett, hold still. I know your emotions are running a little wild, but don't do anything crazy. 
Emotions? What emotions? My emotions are dead. Mm. Mm. They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. Stop! Jesus. What we are you almost doing killed up him. Here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump! Uh, then what do you. This is where I come when I wanna think. Oh. When I wanna be alone. Oh. Um. What are you thinking about? Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. You don't know what you need. And you do? As a matter of fact, yeah. You need... <laughs> they all end in C. Frankenstein. <laughs> to get your mind off your problems, go see a movie. I hear Frankenstein's pretty good. Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. A little bit, yeah. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air, and and see, there's this wild storm going on, and lightning crashing everywhere. It, it's amazing. And you just gotta see it, Emmett. It'll change your life. Look at my helmet. Which light is flashing? Yellow. Apathy. I don't care about movies. I don't care about anything anymore, and I never oh, will. So I have to don't give me that. pay you attention care. to his helmet. You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever That's did anybody um, any good. Uh, it's 109%, dude. Think about Edison and the light bulb. That was a great invention. Yeah, yeah might have been. using three of them. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. The, the automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one oh, today. God damn, dude. Now he's going all fucking emo. The telephone. Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole world. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Hmm. Okay. Help How are we supposed to... You're getting on my nerves, Crockett. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. You care about... Uh, you care about me? me. Care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. You. Oh, shit, it's going red. You did this to me. I did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I can work with that. I wanted to go I green, not red. I love you, Sonny Crockett. Or is that even your real name? Um... Uh, sure it is. Of course it is. Well, it's a dumb name. And I guess I'm dumb for getting all worked up over somebody with such a dumb name. Oh, it's going back to yellow. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to tell him my real... I mean, sorry, I'm supposed to tell him my real name? Marty. My name is Marty. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. Back to More red. or less. Why? I thought Why maybe it would go green, damn it. my life? Um... Edna was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yeah. Just like my How father. How the fuck do I get it to but go to green? to it, see. Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do? Yes! How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. See? I know this may sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. Um... 
so that didn't work. Did it for the hell Did of it? Did it for fun! You ruined my life for fun? Yeah, that's how I get my kicks. You bastard! I'm not quite All sure. Time you spent building up my I'm dreams not really understanding this part. I was gonna be a great scientist! It seems like I get more dialogue when I say the bad things. Maybe am I supposed to keep it red? Yeah, what a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. What do you know? A person like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, daydreams don't count. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. That's what they said to Einstein. Oh, there we go. This is getting him back into... Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah, and look what they accomplished. There we go. I'm sick of people telling me what so I, I guess can and can't by do. me talking First negatively, father, it's sort Edna, of... Now you! Listen gotten him me, back good. into inventing. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. That's what we needed, my I guess. I kind of figured it would be the opposite, though, so... That's why I was so confused. My ideas... It's Scott. I've got it. Got what? The solution. My invention. I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no. My airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets. Not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning. The lightning. Suddenly the answer is clear. Maybe he doesn't need to, to see Frankenstein. Once, like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly! Static electricity! Super high and high static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside the- What's this stupid thing doing on my head? Emmett, hey, you're, you're you again! Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. <gasps> and well, we I'm not today. quite sure how it worked. Let's get the hell out of here before anything else happens. I thought what? we were meant to try and said, make him happy, but it seemed like- <gasps> Oh shit. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, it seemed like making him mad had the uh, the opposite approach. So, like, you know, had the the approach it's not that we going wanted. Anywhere. Um, how do I talk to him? There. Damn it! What? Oh, help <laughs> me your adventure. Uh. Can you climb up? I'm afraid I can't find a convenient purchase for my upper limbs. What? No handhold. Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Oops. Got any ideas for me? I think I used up my quota for the day. Hang in there. Very funny. <laughs> um, so if I take the hatch, can I go get that stuff? That spray bottle? Then what am I supposed Emmett's to use solution. it on? This stuff's dangerous. How do the dogs work? Are they? Is it like a counterweight? If I spray it on this, will it? Will he fall on the other side or no? I don't think I really need that, do I? That doesn't need to be sprayed by fabric destroying enzymes. Oh, that's not what I wanted to. Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. No. Okay. Um. What if I tried this on the rope? Or the statue or whatever. Oh, and then I can go back up and, and hand the rope to him, I guess. Hold on! I wasn't planning on doing anything else. So grab the rope. Oh, okay. I was gonna pull the rope towards me and then sort of maneuver it to him, but I guess I have to sort of... Um, can I go down? It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. What am I supposed to do here? Uh... The expo's already started. It has to be something to do with this rope, I just... Oh, do I spray his rope? I mean, he's pretty fucking high above the ground, though. I didn't think it would... I mean, I wouldn't think that I was supposed to spray his rope if he's that high above. 
Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, okay, so I was doing it the right way, apparently I just wasn't getting close enough. So I've got to time it better. There we go. Uh, yeah, just, I guess I was one, gotcha. Let's one get thing out of here. Your pants, they're stuck. Do something before uh, I crash. I guess I've got to spray his pants now. Um, that. What are you doing? Trust me. Hold on. <laughs> now you got the rope, and now we can. What did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty? Thanks. Don't mention it. Whoa. Oh. Uh. <sighs> tungsten. <sighs> the catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's go. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause a magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to have sudden no shifts of polarity. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking the about right now. results could conceivably be catastrophic. Ah, who cares? My thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? At least we've got the old doc back. Um, well, the old Emmett. I'm more worried... Uh, this is what I'm worried about right here. Need a lift? Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... Someone I used to... <laughs> Damn, Damn it, Doc. What are you doing? I'm you're sure ruining the fucking future. Maybe for everyone else, but I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Maybe I should get a cat. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty that you're going to have a long and fulfilling life. How can you know that? I think you'll find I know almost everything worth knowing about you and young Emmett and his friends. Oh, he's pissed at us. Tell me, how much do you know about Sonny Crockett? What are you up to, Doc? Fuck's sake, man. You just keep meddling, don't you? Looks like this episode's done, though. Let me explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. It was science. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Doc. Oh, God, so he doesn't want to become a scientist at all. All right. So, it looks like we started getting things back on track, but then the old Doc, the Citizen Brown Doc, still wants to meddle and stay with Edna, and it's going to make trying to get to the right timeline a bitch. So we're in the last episode of this game. Um, I will say that I've been enjoying playing Telltale games again, so with that in mind, I have gone and purchased Guardians of the Galaxy, um, the Telltale game. So that's going to be the next series on this channel. Um, and then also I will probably get the Game of Thrones Telltale version. And that will be after Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, so let's let's start the final episode of this series. Well not this series, sorry, of this game. There will still be a few series, a uh, few episodes left in this series. Uh, yes, sure goals. So I don't know what Doc is up to. The old Doc. The Citizen Brown Doc. But he is definitely up to something.
Uh, considering he has the DeLorean, I'm a bit more worried about what he can do. So we're in Emmett's lab at the moment, okay. Looks like he ended up bringing all his shit back here. Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Uh, uh, Emmett, uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. You let Why me didn't sleep you in. wake me up? I tried to give you a nudge before I left, but you were practically comatose. How long has it been since you slept? Aside from being knocked unconscious, I'm not really sure. Anyway, I left you back at the lab to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh... Yep. I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Is that good? Good? It's fantastic! Glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna! But... Oh shit, what okay, now? Damn it. One static accumulator coming up. She's up to no good. Yeah. Oh, he was about to fucking hit us. Jeez, Doc. Watch out, you almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Yeah, I bet you sorry. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Did you fix so, the time circuits? how are the time circuits? Still broken. I've got a few ideas, but I'm occupied with other problems today. So is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Doc! It was science! What are you doing, Doc? He's trying to fucking steal it? You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if no, your older self loves science too. Expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. You're a fucking psycho, Doc. Well, Citizen Brown, Doc. The real Doc is, you know, much better than you. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never she get the chance to She tried to brainwash you, dude, in ambition. your own machine. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah! Shit. What the hell? The static build-up. Where'd it go? Um... Where did it go, indeed? That's over there. Oh, we can't oh, even grab on. it. Here, little static thingy. <laughs> little static thingy. My god. We can't fucking get this thing. Does it- wait, can I wear- I don't have any gloves or anything. I've only got a newspaper. What happened to my guitar and shit? Can I use the newspaper on it? Nah. Nah. Jesus. I can't reach it. Great. So now what? Oh, climb up the lamppost. I can't reach it. Gotcha! Had to wait for the timing to be right. Whoa! 
At least I've got it now. Alright. So he got a thing to float. That's exactly what he needed for the DeLorean. The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the At least uh, Trixie got her job back, it looks like. Oh fuck, Edna in the car. I thought she was walking up to the uh, Artie to get her flight again. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right. All Did right. he marry her? Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future is coming today. Ah, oh, so Doc's thing is all the way up there again. Okay. Uh, so how do I get up to Doc's invention? He was up in the corner there. Fucking Edna. Of course she's standing and in front here of here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective. But you mustn't let your resolution waver. God, what are you up to? What's going on here? Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Oh my god, what now? Wait a minute, that's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. You bitch. The electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just helped. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. I found out who Sonny Crockett really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Sonny? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. What? Thanks a lot, Doc. An anarchist, a foreign agitator, bent on sowing chaos and destruction in so the world. So he, he didn't tell her real. He didn't tell her our real name. You don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? He gave her Sorry, uh, some Yakov, fucking Russian I name. I really don't have a choice. Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. For what? Come here. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. You're right. She's been getting some clout in town, ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. And, well, if I don't do what she says, she's gonna start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. We need to get dirt on Edna. Well, I'll dig something up. You do that. This is going to be difficult. You and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Oh, you're letting him go? This radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so I gotta find Emmett and do something about Edna. Can we just, uh. I can't believe Danny let himself get bullied into shutting down Emmett's booth. So we can't. Do we still have the thinger? We do. Can we, like, fly up there with it? Uh uh. 
I'm only giving this to Emmett. Wait, wait. There. Fly up there. Uh -uh. I'm only giving this I to guess Emmett. not. Alright. So we can't do shit at the moment. We have to find dirt on Edna. Greeting. Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now, what can I'm I do for? I'm hoping so. Um. Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? No, she doesn't. Um, can you postpone Emmett's Emmett's though? demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, I mean, but, he's uh, lost as it is. not ready to go on pretty soon. We might have to skip his act. Uh, I mean, demonstration. But you can't. Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. Mm, kind of is in this case. Um, thanks. Happy to help. There's a few things here I can look at. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. Oh. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Okay. Oh. What? Hello, Schmirnoff. The Electro Pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Nah, it's just a model. Hmm, okay. Um... Now, where were we? What else we got around here? Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Under the sea. And then we have what? Over here. The house of the future. Insert ticket to enter. We don't have any tickets. How do we get tickets? Phone booth of the future? Welcome to the phone booth of the future. Made with Atlas Glass. Atlas. Unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Then why did you ask if I wanted to fucking place a call? Alright, um... Okay, what? I don't know what the Hiya, hell that's folks. about. Can you give us some... No, no, that's not what I wanted to do! Would you like to place a call? No. Yes, <laughs> oh. I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, no. this phone booth only accepts... I thought I had the call. cursor on Trixie. I thought I had the cursor on Trixie! Okay, let's try this once more. Okay. Let's show me the glass house. Oh, for fuck's sake. There. Thank you. Hi, Trixie. Now, what can I do you for? Can I have some tickets? Where do you get tickets from? Uh... So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the glass house, the future furnishings, and of course, enlightenment under the sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! I have no idea course, who the fuck that is. you need to get tickets if you want to see the main That's attractions. That's what I'm here for. How do I get How tickets? much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here. You're That's what I was hoping like for. Family now, you know? Thanks, Trixie. Thanks. Um. Thanks. Okay. So now we have tickets. We can check out some of these things. Though I still need to work out how to get Edna, how to get dirt on Edna. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Mere gratification is just always a push of a button away. The 
This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Um. Why? Oh. Alright. I don't know what this is. Um, if you reckon, Duh. plastic. Ah, it's wax. The wax, whatever. I'm actually kind of curious. What does uh green button do? In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey. Yeah, no. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Say, hang up to terminate your phone. Oh, experience. can I call the booth? Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Techno News of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Hi, Trixie. It's me, Sonny. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. Conversation terminated. Greetings again, mortals! This oh, is shit. Techni, muse of progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. I thought she was about to say that the first act is... Oh, no, wait. Oh, it is. Okay. So we've got like a time limit. What's the blue one do? There we go, blue. In the mood for fun, the house of the future comes equipped with a modern home entertainment center. Chinese checkers and everything. So, just the fact that he picked up those flowers was kind of a big clue to me that I'm supposed to swap them with these flowers, I guess. Hiya, folks. Um... Okay, and then I guess I Hi need to folks. put the other ones back in this place. Something tells me I have to get Edna in there. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Near gratification is just always a push of a button away. Um, how do I? Maybe I can't place him in here. So put them I on don't the think so. Don't think I can place him in here though. Oh, maybe I've got to put them in the in the phone booth, and then maybe call her from the house. I don't know. Uh, come on. Okay, call me a snoop. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So then how do I get her into the phone booth? I know where to place the call. Uh, place. So I just gotta call it and then ask for Edna. All right, that's that's fair. I'm gonna catch this bitch. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. I think I did see earlier when I called that I could ask for Edna. So I should have seen that. All right, so it was the green button, wasn't it? Yeah. Privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial, 
or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. The phone booth of the future. 4253. Hill Valley Expo, Techni speaking. Who's this? Uh, I don't think it really matters, does it? Should I just say some guy? This is Anthony. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Closeoff. Closeoff? Yes, first name Oliver. Oliver, Oliver Closeoff. Close <laughs> Listen, kid, I didn't just fall <laughs> off the poutine truck. Who is uh, this really? Hang up. Conversation. Okay, terminated. that's not obviously what I was supposed to do. I didn't know if I should tell her my real name, if she would go and tell Edna that it was me. So I thought if I just said some guy, she'd be like, Edna, there's some dude on the phone for you. That's all. But I'm so glad I did that. I'm, I'm not, not even mad. Let's try this again. Klondike4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? It's Sonny Crockett. Hi, Trixie. It's me, Sonny. Oh, hi. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing. I was oh. just checking out this snazzy phone. Okay, bye. Bye. What am I supposed to do then? Um. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm on the right path. I just don't know. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal. Oh, maybe if I say it's Carl Sagan. Because obviously he's been talking to Edna. So if I pretend to be Carl Sagan, she might divulge. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah. Yeah, that makes this sense. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? God, sure your uh, your impersonation's Sagan. not the best, hey, though. Hey, Strickland! Somebody actually wants to talk to you. <laughs> oh, she's got she's got spunk. I love it. Mr. Sagan, I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. About that plan. Um, I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my poll with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are oh, keeping the fucking him distracted, audios. aren't you? Oh, yes. Breaking He's out. I don't know if that's going to happen man. on the recording or not. Like on the... I keep telling everyone. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to happen on the recording or not, but on this end, the, the audio is just crackling in and out. Uh, do I have to say the plans have changed, or do I ask for her dark secret, or what? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking I have to... I think I'm gonna have to ask for a dark secret. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that! As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him exactly? You know, it! Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh, well, that was the Dodd's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean away. And I never would have had to divert suspicion to she you. She was the speakeasy arsonist. She's the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No, it's just you and me. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Every night they'd open up their doors serving illegal drinks and loose women flaunting their depravity to the world. I think I got what I needed. the authorities did nothing. So I did what any right-thinking rock-willed woman would do. I took action. Oh, and such a gorgeous action it was, too. The fires were so She's a beautiful. fucking artist. The alcohol made them go She's up a in pyromania. such pretty blue flames. Oh, where was I? You were explaining why you burned down the speakeasies. Yes. Did you find my answer to your liking? It was very revealing. Hang up. What? Conversation terminated. Jeez, Edna was always a loon. 
I hope that confession's good enough for Parker. She's always talking about people being hoodlums, but she's the real fucking hoodlum here. Alright, now we can go pick up that. Do I just show it straight Next to the cops? Or? Roster, oh shit! Saw the possibilities in pond scum. We're Welcome running out of time here. Jesus camera angle. The fuck, man. Alright, so now we can grab the recording device. How bad would it be if we've got no, to press the button? I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that answer. So I'm guessing now we just show it to the cop. Right in front of her. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Do you mind, comrade? We're busy trying to protect the expo from the likes of you. This will only take a minute. Our plant recorder! It's not a good idea to steal police property, you know. Listen. I didn't steal it, no, I just borrowed it. I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. D Detective Parker! Surely you're not going to believe this crudely manufactured forgery of a recording. I'm not sure what to believe, ma'am. But based on this crudely manufactured forgery, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to come down to the station to answer a few questions about your whereabouts on the night of the speakeasy fires. Oh, very well. I... Heavens, what's that? Oh my god, that's you know, so bad. One of these days, I should really stop falling. <laughs> hey, does this really mean should. that the barricades can come down from Emmett's booth? Let's take that as a yes. Emmett's gotta be around here so- Oh shit. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. I have, and it was very... interesting. Huh. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon! We're, we're really running out of room here. Okay, so I think I can remove these things out of the booth. Oh, they've already been removed. Okay. Um. Jesus, where the fuck is Emmett? How about an algae cake? Sure thing, Mister. Wait a minute. You're the guy that makes the algae cakes. What? I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey! Hey, you're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. Oh, for the Who love the fuck of is no Eunice? algae cakes for you, Buster. I, I had no idea. How about an algae cake? One algae cake coming oh. right ahead. Hey, wait a minute. It's you. Forget it, mister. I thought I could try and take one behind his back. I don't know who the fuck this dude is. I don't even remember who the fuck Eunice is. Alright, um, I don't think I've been keeping track of the time of this episode, so I'm not sure how long it's been. Um, it probably has been half an hour already, probably longer actually, so, uh, just to make sure, I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I don't, as I said, I don't know how long it's been, but, um, at least... I've done two episodes today, even if even if this one's not full length, I don't know if it is as I said, it could be longer. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll catch me up a little bit for the days that I missed. Um, and yeah, so as I said, we'll be done with this soon, this is the last episode of the game, uh, and then after that, we'll have Guardians of the Galaxy, so look forward to that, but until then, goodbye for now. You are a pirate!